Welcome to this second video about algebraic fractions. Um, and in the first video, I have told you that you can get two types of questions. You can be asked to combine two algebraic fractions or perhaps to simplify. And right now, we are combining the fractions. Okay? And I showed you in the previous video the basics. Yeah, so, very quickly now, uh, this is a very basic question still. I can only add the fractions if the denominator. Uh, the denominators are the same, a 7 and a 4, so clearly they are not the same. So I have to manipulate the question yeah, and make sure those denominators become the same. Yeah, find the common multiple, 7 and 4. Well, perhaps you say, well, that is 28, for instance. So I'm going to multiply that fraction by 4 over 4, yeah, which is the denominator there. And this fraction by 7 over 7. And I will get um, 8x over 28 and I'm gonna get 21x over 28 now the denominators are the same so I can form the addition 28 stays the same and denominator and I have 29x of it all right so that is a basic question but if we move it or step it up uh, one level let's say we have 1 over x plus 1 plus uh, what shall we do uh, 3 over x plus 2. Okay, now don't all of a sudden do something else. You should be asking yourself the same questions every time when working with fractions. That is, is the denominator the same? It's not the same. So then I have to multiply it by a particular factor. Yeah, because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to find a common multiple. So do not add this side by 1. Don't think you can do it plus one and then get the same denominator. Now that's not how it works. We are always multiplying it, we're finding a common multiple. And what is the common multiple? Well, this fraction, I'm going to multiply it by that denominator. So by x plus two, and put some brackets around that please. x plus two, all right. And this fraction, I'm gonna multiply it by that denominator, which is x plus one. So times x plus one, all right. So let's write that out. What is that going to look like then? Well, one times x plus two, that is one times x, and one times two over, and please leave the denominator as brackets, yeah? But also this one in brackets, okay? You don't have to expand that, it's not necessary. Plus, and then my second uh, fraction, so I'm start with the denominator, x plus two times x plus one, again, in brackets, please. And now be careful, it's three times x, which is three x, and three times one, which is three. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to combine the two fractions. Yeah? The denominators are the same now. And of course, I don't have space for that again. So I'm just gonna do an equal sign here. The fraction line, and I'll always start my denominator. Yeah, because then that is done. Now I do my numerator. I use my maths finger, okay x plus 3x that is 4x and 2 plus 3 that is 5 okay fantastic um could i perhaps factorize my numerator i can't because there's no common factor because sometimes you can and then perhaps there is a common factor in the numerator and denominator but for now this is my final answer now the next video i'm going to give you more example questions especially uh, with negative signs here in the middle, yeah? And then you have to be extra careful. It's not more difficult, but I know some of you still haven't decided upon your mouse finger, okay? Because especially when it's a negative, it's important that you use your mouse finger, yeah? X plus three X, two plus three, yeah? That you don't make any silly mistakes there. I'll show you in the next video what I mean, what I mean with that, okay? For now, bye-bye. Uh, Explainingmaths.com for more free resources. Uh, you can also ask me a question there if you like, okay? Facebook and Twitter is also a way to communicate with me. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.